here, John. You, you've been really, I've, I've been really proud of you. You've been working hard since last year. Your brothers and sisters are very proud of you. It was very. It was an emotional year for for all of us. I love you, and you make me proud, and I'm happy. Don't, don't doubt my love for you, and continue to make me proud. I love you, your mom. Son, I will always love you, and you know that. Thank God that, that you came out from my stomach. You're the motivation that I always go wake up at 5 in the morning to go to work. You know that sometimes I don't have money to give you the things what you want. Caesar, my son, I, I write this letter for you and to tell you how much I really love you and how much you're important to me. And she said, you know, in the future, you know, you know that deep inside I love you. We're trying to teach a lot more than just a game of football or more than the X's and O's, wins and losses. We're trying to teach these young boys how to be better future husbands and better future fathers. And we use football to get that accomplished. She's trying to say that when, when she lost her job, like we didn't have money for like two months. We couldn't pay any of the bills. And I was about to quit football, try to football. I wrote a letter uh, in the beginning of the summer to all the parents um, in Spanish and in English and I asked them um, to write a letter to their son on the football team, how much they love them and how they're proud of them and whatever they felt like they wanted to say to their kids that were positive. Now I actually know that my mom really loves me even though she didn't tell me but I know she does and like it helps me not just in football but in life because no matter what I don't like if things get hard, if I ever need help, my mom will be there for me. And now I know that. At least 60% of the kids on our team, you know, they come from single homes and single moms especially. And um, I know how important it is to have a strong male figure teaching them what is right, what is wrong, how to treat a woman, um, how to treat your people in the community, how to, again, you know, become better future husbands and fathers through the things they learn in football. And gave him a hug and said, I will commit to this for you. Let's keep that in mind. Let's keep that in mind when we go out there. It doesn't matter who we're playing. If we're playing for each other and we have brotherhood, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the score. Just play good football with perfect effort and play for your brothers. That's all I ever ask for in practice or games.